Upon receiving thousands of letters from Kufa, Hussein salam, sent his cousin brother, a trustworthy and brave man, to Kufa to gather support and to report back to him. This messenger was called Muslim ibn Akil. He was Hussein salam's first cousin, the son of Imam Ali's brother Akil. In Kufa, approximately 18,000 people swore allegiance to Muslim asking him to invite Hussein salam to take a stand against the evil Yazid. Muslim wrote a letter back asking Hussein salam to leave for Kufa. This news went to Yazid, who wrote to his friend Ibn Ziyad, Go to Kufa, capture Muslim Ibn Akil and see what is appropriate to imprison him, send him to exile or to kill him. Ibn Yazid arrived in Kufa and sent his spies to find the whereabouts of Muslim. He threatened the public. When Muslim found out that a friend of his was killed, he gathered the followers who supported him. 4,000 people joined Muslim but were threatened. Ibn Ziyad also put some tribal leaders in prison to scare the people. One by one they left, and the 4,000 shrank to 300, then to 30. Then, when Muslims started praying the Isha, evening prayer, there were only three people behind him. When he finished praying, there was no one left. He walked around the streets of Kufa, not knowing where to go. A woman recognized Muslim. She was a good woman and a follower of Ayl al-Bayt She gave him shelter, fed him and kept him in a different room than her sons. When her son came home and saw his mother going to the other room, he asked her what was going on, and she refused to tell him. He kept insisting until, after making him promise to keep it a secret, she told him the truth. But in the morning, her son went and told Ibn Ziyad where Muslim was. Ibn al Ashath came with 70 soldiers to capture Muslim at dawn while he was praying. When he heard horses galloping, Muslim knew that he was discovered. He finished his prayer and said to the nice lady, you have done what you should do. May the messenger of God intercede for you. The soldiers got off their horses and came into the house, but Muslim fought them and forced them out of the house. He fought bravely, pushing all of the soldiers back into the street. He fought with the strength of a man that knows his last fight. With more than half of his troops dead and the rest injured, the leader sent a message to Ibn Ziyad requesting more troops. Ibn Ziyad responded, What? I sent you out to get one man, not an army. The leader replied, Do you think you want me to catch a grocery boy of Kufa? You want me to capture a sword of the people of Muhammad? Then they all attacked him together and he became weak from his wounds and loss of blood and he leaned against the wall. They continued shooting arrows and throwing rocks at him and captured him. They brought Muslim Ibn Akil to Ibn Ziyad and he was ordered to say Salaam Alaikum to the new governor Ibn Ziyad. Muslim replied, He is your governor. I say Salaam to whoever follows the truth. If you kill me, there have been better people than me, killed by worse people than you. Ibn Ziyad said, You have rebelled against your leader. You have divided Muslims and have created disorder. Muslim said, Indeed. Muawiyah and his son Yazid have divided Muslims and created disorder. I wish to reach martyrdom at the hands of the worst person in the world. Muslim Ibn Akil achieved martyrdom and the news of his death reached Hussein alayhi salam the next day. Hussein alayhi salam called Muslims young daughters and hugged them and showed them his affection as is tradition after the death of a parent. The young girls saw Hussein's gestures and knew that their father had been killed in the name of Islam. Muslim Ibn Akil was a messenger of Imam and the first Shaheed of Karbala. He gave his life for Imam. As followers of Hussein salam and Islam, we too must be brave and trustworthy to represent a Imam.